terms of the finance department's reporting requirements, what trends are you seeing in recent years? Are those requirements changing uh, related to how they report on production variants? I don't think the requirements of production reporting are changing. And the functionality in SAP is, is evolving to assist that analysis. So production planners need to know how much to plan, how many materials to get into inventory, then issue to, to the production orders, and then assemble them uh, on the production lines. That hasn't, that won't change, but SAP is working on improving that with, with S4. Um, and that's explained. The reporting has got its own chapter. That's chapter six in the book. Um, we have um, a lot of functionality with uh, drill down reporting and um, um, reporting, uh, real time reporting. And um, the, the book covers the reporting available in ECC and the new reporting available with the Universal Journal in uh, S4. Um, and with Janet's help, we've we've written about uh, the future direction of SAP and reporting using the, the Universal Journal. So speaking of reporting, um, Janet, can you talk us through um, the difference between classic uh, transaction codes and with SAP URI apps? Um, what can you do with URI apps that maybe you couldn't have done with transaction codes? So maybe the key thing to say is as we move to S4, we tried to make sure that nothing was lost. So we had this idea of compatibility views and the idea with the compatibility view is it just brings the data out of the universal journal and puts it back into the structure that we had before um, S4. So John talked about the work center and the operation being updated now. So if you were to look at the tables for any confirmation you've done, any materials you'd issued, you'd see the work center there, you'd see where it happened and you'd see which operation it was. But if you use the classic reports or even just the reports that you can see from within the production order, you won't see that. All you'll see is the old information. So you'll see that the work center is, is basically lost. You'll just see the production cost center and the production activities because we didn't change that. We just, we use these compatibility views to keep things smooth, to make sure that people aren't suddenly shocked and, and lost on day one of moving to S4. But of course the danger is then you don't even realize that this new functionality. You just use what you've been used to and everything feels great. And so particularly in product costing, I think it's actually worth looking at the Fiori apps. It's worth looking at the apps that show you the cost by work center. Because if I could sort of zoom myself back 10 years to the one of the most common questions that I would be asked, it's like at the time that you capture this information, at the time that you record your scrap, at the time you make your confirmation, you tell the system which work center you were at and which operation you were on. But where is it in CO? You lose it. But we did just literally lose it. We wouldn't update it. We would aggregate it. And now the Universal Journal, if you were to compare, has many more lines in it because it includes the work center and it includes the operation. But in order to see that information, you're going to have to use the Fiori apps. And what we do in the book, we talk about all the standard Fiori apps. So this isn't a book that tells you how to build Fiori apps, build your own CDS views and so on. But it will walk you through the Fiori apps that are there. And the sort of typical things that people stumble over the first time they use a Fiori app, because there's just really simple differences. Like in a classic SAP report, you fill out a great selection screen and nothing happens until you press execute. And in the Fiori, you typically have the selection screen, the results on the same screen. And, and so you have you, your navigation is slightly different. And of course, once you've done it for a couple of apps, you know, by the end of the first week, you're going to be totally happy with it. But that first time you use a Fiori app, it's a little bit of a shift. <laughs>